Across for Nation, this is Justin, and we're once again back for another episode of Digital Happy Hour, where we help Philippine MSMEs grow their business online. We're here to talk about the digital trends, tech news, digital marketing tips, and the story and journey of our entrepreneurs to help you and your business. Tell us what you think by leaving your reactions and comments down below, and don't forget to share this with your friends so they can join in on the fun. Today, we're going to hear about the story of the printery. The printery is where your style meets print. There are one-stop printing solution for lifestyle and visual print products, specializing in ready-made as well as customizable pro- paper printable products for your home, office, and business needs. So without further ado, let me introduce to you Aya and Kita of the Printery and our very own Pro Oliva of Prosperna. Hi Prosper Nation! We're here today with Aya and Kito and also... um. Dennis is not here today, so we'll have Pro, our business development. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hi. Prosper Nation. Hey, how are you doing? Um, how are you doing this uh, lockdown? Doing fine. Um, uh, as you can see, uh, staying at home, <laughs> working mm-hmm. at home. And uh, yeah, everyone is safe naman. Thank God about it. Yes. And how about you, Fro? You're our host once again. <laughs> oh, nga eh. I just hope na I can uh, be a good substitute for uh, Dennis, who's currently uh, unavailable. So I don't have the same accent as him, but I'll try my best. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's get the party rolling. Um, for our first question, we want to know more about the printery. So, Kito and Aya, can you take us through kung paano nagsimula yung the printery and any inspiration you for the business? Okay. Okay, so the printery is your online printing solutions for lifestyle and visual print products. Um, we are currently doing wallpaper and canvas prints, customized, and we have our own prints too. But we're focusing on those two as of the moment. But we are exploring and we'll have more products coming soon. Yeah. And that's very interesting. Eh? Sorry, I just wanted to ask, what do you mean by lifestyle and canvas print? Lifestyle and visual print products. Visual print, so. Yeah. Um, we want to integrate our products to your own lifestyle. So we can, we can, we do different areas, not just homes. Because before we could just say that you know it's a home um, business, decor, <laughs> decors, right? But we want to expand that since we're getting a lot of clients now, offices and like restaurants, even cafes. So we want to put, uh, we want to put that as a tagline for printer. You know, it's uh, printing solutions for your lifestyle and visual print products. That's very interesting, Tito. Um, what you? How did you get into the business? <laughs> so we we I know we started um, twenty nineteen. So we're almost three years now in the business, and um, uh, the story is um, our family business a is a is a um, offset and digital printing. Okay. Um, and my parents. Um, uh, my, pre- my parents introduced the- introduced this concept of custom uh, wallpaper, and um, during pre pandemic, me me and my sister si Aya were very busy because we have our own businesses. Aya is into her um, uh, uh, sleepwear brand, um, and me my myself naman is into self storage. So we were very busy and. Uh, preoccupied and at the same time we're very ske- skeptical about it so uh, during during that time <clears throat> as you can see naman um, printing business uh, printing business in the Philippines is slowly like you know it's a sunset business ne. and um, may kita mo na, na instead of before printing flyers you're gonna invest more on uh, Google Ads, Facebook Ads. Facebook Ads, ads yeah. So, yeah. hindi na siya talaga um, as uh, needed yeah. as yeah. before. And, and also abroad, like, there are cheaper alternatives abroad when it comes to, let's say, one of our um, main products for the business is 
anything printing printed on paper so packaging right so yeah. some people they they get it from abroad which is cheaper so we yeah. really couldn't compete with the price yeah yeah mm. actually it's very interesting no? I, I, I am a little bit familiar about the printing industry and like what you said no Kito, that it's supposed to be on the sunset uh, session mm-hmm. uh, unlike before kapag nasa printing business ka pwede mong Cliente, mga publisher, tapos every yeah. four years you can you know, um, bid for a political campaign. campaign. And then, that yes. brings a lot of money. But over the past few years, it's been very tough, especially everybody's yeah. going digital. Yes. Uh, yeah, ooh. it's been declining, so, yeah. So, so lahat ngayon talaga, ano, baksakan din talaga yung presyo. Price. It's yes. really hard to compete. And there are a lot of um, printing businesses that close yeah. down. Yeah. But mm-hmm. I did see... Um, what I would say, uh, a, a, a resurgence from a small group of printers or entrepreneurs who went into printing, such as yourselves. Mm-hmm. Uh, they focus on um, furniture or would you consider like um, customized stickers as part of that digital printing? Right? Yes. Yeah. Mm, yes, yes, yes. But um, yon. Uh, then pandemic hit. Uh, then pandemic hit. Um, parang me, me and my sister, we saw how um, kumpanya nag struggle yung parents namin in the business. Yeah. Yeah. And we finally decided to to help and assist them. And yon, we try to focus on uh, what we are good at. And yon, um, my parents brought up this concept again, and yeah. um, uh, we started to create a product from there during the pandemic. Mm-hmm. So, but they uh, had na kasi the printing machine yeah. and yeah, the, the printing the infra- the yeah the, the machine. Um, the thing yeah. is, parang it was just limited to doing like several products on paper and the, on like printing uh, flyers or whatever or packaging. So we start to explore what else could this machine do? Yeah. Now we discover there's so many things, there's so many products it could do. Like wallpaper, canvas, acrylic, um, tiles. Direct printing. Direct no. printing. And there's so many. So that's why we, we wanted, we were, so, we were so overwhelmed but we wanted to start with wallpaper and the canvas print. Nice. So, which sibling had the light bulb moment first? Light bulb moment. Light bulb <laughs> moment. Actually, it was my mom. My mom said, like, let's do wallpaper like that. And then we're all like, yeah, sure. Because, yeah, I'm like, really sure. kasi, no one is doing it. Pa. Wala, wala pang yeah, wala pang pa. custom kasi. Like, everything is pre-printed. Like, you can yes. just, if you go to a wallpaper shop, uh, they'd be like, oh, these are our designs. Oh, you choose. So, ikaw mag adjust For and this time, kami yung mag adjust sa client. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you have a theme for your room. And you like the, you like the print, pero you, you don't like the color. Hindi bagay dun sa room mo. So, mag adjust ka dun sa print. Which is dapat belikted, dapat yung print yung magaja sao. But that which is something we could do. Like Kito's wallpaper there at his back, uh, his background. We could change yeah. the color. We could change. We could make scale it to smaller leaves, to bigger leaves. You know, and so it's That's it's very um co- yeah, it's a services. complex yeah. But Kito, like, did you have to change anything uh, with the equipment, or did you have to invest a little bit more? We need to invest a little bit more, um, and it's it, it it's a bold move for us because during pandemic, sempre di ba you tend to um, uh, reduce the number of your employees, yeah. you sell your items so that you can minimize your overhead cost. Cost. Um, but this time, since my parents are they're entrepreneurs, eh? they're business minded people, and they're very so risk taker, my mom. <laughs> they, they have so much energy despite they're like 59 or 60 years old. Na. Nice. Um, uh, and we were, I know, na inspire kami sa kanila to, yeah. to, to help them and mm-hmm. um, uh, uh, at the same time give employment to our, to our, ano, to our staff. Current employees, yeah. 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 So, yeah. Go ahead. 
yeah and then that's that's uh that's how printery started uh uh we started with um conceptualization of the designs um meeting listening with my, to people you know, know what they like sister yeah. and how we will uh create this this concept because it's very 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 hard to do honestly um uh, it takes a lot of patience, humility. Oh, for sure. Uh, with the customer. Not just with sure, customers, we but... It. We enjoy it. Naman. Yeah, we enjoy it. Uh-oh. I don't know when good. they see the wallpaper yes. they like. We're like, oh my God. Like, so happy sila. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I totally agree. As I, I always say that um, yung entrepreneurship is very romanticized. Yeah. Everybody oh. just sees the mm. success, oh, oh. the yeah. money, the uy, pwede na siya mag-golf araw-araw. Oh, <laughs> yeah. What people don't know is before that level of success is achieved, trabaho tayo ng mga 20-30 hours, yeah. sleepless Tama. nights. Hindi natin alam saan kukunin yung pambahid ng sweldo the next day. Yeah. Amen to that. <laughs> Yes, I totally agree. Napiyak mo naman ako eh, bro. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I trust you. Siwala pala. Siwala as well. And she just came in. She's, she's, uh, uh, she's also has her own brand actually. Wow. You go wow. To, because this is where Justine and uh, I have something in common because uh, you're both into um, clothing. Mm. Right? Mm. See, I, uh, can you tell us Aya more about your sleepwear? Oh, um, I have a sleepwear brand called Private Story. Um, these are my sleepwears. <laughs> <laughs> so I designed them. Um, it's been my it's my baby ever since I started after uni. From I'm from we were both from University of Asia in the Pacific, UANP. Um, after okay. I wanted I want I couldn't find you mga set set kasi before, but now. There are a lot now, so competition is getting tough, but yeah. we were able to keep a lot of loyal customers um, and they could really see the quality of our um, sleepwear sets. So yeah, I enjoy it. I love doing it. We customize it with their names also. So we've invested in embroidery machines and I design um, patterns and have it printed on fabric. Mm. Um, is the, do you sell here in the Philippines or more on, in Australia? Oh, I, it's solely Philippine brand, but we mm-hmm. do ship worldwide. We do have um, customers <laughs> here in Australia, in um, mm-hmm. the US, New Zealand, UK, Canada. Canada. So we, we do ship abroad then. And what's, what I like about um, my sister's business is that um, uh, she tied up with mm-hmm. several brands. Uh, right yeah. now, the, the one that we've been working with is... Um, Sanrio, San yeah, okay. Sanrio. Uh, we're 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 doing Hello Kitty, My Melody. So it's a licensing. We've nice. been approached nice. by a lot of licensing um, nice. brands to to create sleepwear sets for them. So mm. we're working on agreements nice. to them. <laughs> but that's very very interesting because actually I don't know how much it's done here in the Philippines, but in the states, like co-branding or co-licensing is uh, is a very b- good strategy that. Yeah. And most of the people who do it are like um, either athletes or hip hop artists. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Nike. Yeah. Nike. Yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. Like that. Travis Scott and McDonald's. Yeah. Right? BTS and McDonald's. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> True. Yeah. How about like, oh, ano, Kito? Um, what about your storage so business? Can you, yeah. Uh, We've been in the storage business for seven years. Na rin. Yeah, seven years. Um, uh, it it's called um, Easy Storage. Um, all of our facilities right now are located in Mandaluyong City, and um, yeah, it's a basically it's like storage wars. Uh, yeah. The concept mm-hmm. of storage wars, wherein your uh, items can um, you can put your items and rent it out in a small storage unit. Yeah. So basically, it's a simple concept, like unlike uh, my sister's business. <laughs> 
halata mo ano eh halata halata ano eh halata ng different talaga yung very opposite talaga kami <laughs> Justine yung guest natin talaga for today is uh, really from a family of entrepreneurs eh, no? <laughs> yeah very we got it from our parents talaga yeah. True. I, I think I'm uh, your client. Uh, so I think I have some stuff in your storage facility. <laughs> really? Really? Yeah, I think really? so. Ah, really? <laughs> storage. Yeah. Nice, nice. Thank you, thank you for the support. <laughs> Good. Yeah, for a couple of years. <laughs> oh my God. Well, yeah. Is there any other questions for Aya and Tito? Yeah. Um. And also, we heard that you only started this. Um, business three years ago, but when it comes to going online, and um, what's your experience? Were your businesses online also before, or this is the first time you are stepping in an e-commerce kind of business? Okay. Um. Well, that's kind of ano no uh long story. Because we've been um doing this yeah for almost for almost three years now. But we decided to do the e-commerce last year during the pandemic. Mm. Um, yeah. It's it's kind of difficult, no, to to create uh, an e-commerce uh, website <laughs> that we really wanted uh, to to have because uh, we want something na uh, a website that has a you know yung customer journey niya is um, very quite. Um, uh, how will I say it? Um, uh, a good customer journey. Yes. Well, easy friendly, for them. Easy friendly for them. website. Yeah, yeah. So, yes. like that. so we've tried several companies. We, we've tried several uh, friends of ours. And um, it, it, it's okay naman. Pero it's not uh, what we really wanted talaga. Yeah. So when we work with Prosperna. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's, it's what we expected to ano to to have talaga for our website and uh, your team like Sinayash and Dean and Dennis when we talk to them uh, they're really um, uh, yung vibe is very positive and mm-hmm. they make it seem like um, everything is possible for us and um, they they work with us ha- hand in hand lalo na um, for example if we want this type of feature and all that <clears throat> they gave us options they gave us suggestions and it's really nice working with uh with uh prosper and that's the reason why we we always um uh tell our friends refer our friends with prosper because um the service that you gave uh talaga is outstanding top notch yeah yeah thank you so much very hands-on yeah yeah such a very important uh point which is the customer experience i want to talk a little bit more on that um, I think this is a, a topic that um, people in general understand, but they don't sometimes don't put focus on it, right? Yeah. And especially with digital, that's very important because again, you want to make things seamless, right? Yes. Yeah. What's a good customer experience for you, Aya? A uh, how for me a good customer experience would be personally yeah, like whenever i shop let's just say something fast easy to use especially the interface of the website or the app and then i could check out easily and secure the payment methods and that's the top thing that we want to do the 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 interface would be really easy for the customer to upload pictures to upload the design they want, let's just say, um, and choose the size they want, crop wherever they want, zoom wherever they want, and then check out seamlessly in their homes. They, they don't need to transfer to different devices, you know, like, so I think for me, that would be the best customer experience or journey when I am got when I got when I get to the website and check out properly at ease without screen scratching my head of what happened. <laughs> yeah, that's actually a very good insight. Because especially in the in the advent of you know internet online, sometimes you'd have so many pop ups and it's very You have so many distractions. Yeah. yeah. So many distractions. And if you get distracted in that like let's say five seconds lang. Wala yeah. na, they'll be like, Ay, okay na. Ay, yeah. 
That's me. Really have the, wala nang patience then. <laughs> yeah. For you, Kito, like how different or like how would you describe the customer experience that you provide for Easy Storage versus the customer experience that you built for the printer? Okay. Uh, um, easy Storage kasi is a pretty straightforward um, business eh. Kasi uh, um, you just need to uh, go to our website just once and then um, uh, pay on a monthly basis. It's yeah. something yeah. like that. <laughs> choose so, the size. <laughs> so, yeah, choose the size and pay on a monthly <laughs> basis. So, it's like, it's a very uh, easy, I know, easy um, set up for the, mm-hmm. ano, for, for the website. But when it comes to printery, I, I, kasi since my sister is in the, into uh, sleepwear and she has her own e-commerce website also, I listen to her. Yeah. And um, we have the same um, concept then of, our, of customer journey. It's like, it's like also like going in a restaurant, di ba? Yes. You want to have that experience that once the clients sit down in the restaurant, malinis, and uh, they, um, the, the customer service is there. There is someone who will assist you if you have questions. Menu uh, are easy to read. The menu is attractive. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, the, the, the concept and the design of the restaurant is fits, fits, fits the brand. The brand. Yeah. So... So that's how I know. That's how I pegged it with ano, yeah. with, um, with, printery. Uh, with printery and um, having a co- good customer service in a website. That that's actually good insight. Um, in fact, uh, there was a study done by Zomato that mm-hmm. the major reason why people go back to restaurants is not because of the price or the food. It's because of the customer service. Correct. Actually, right? yeah. and and. I guess when you go digital, the best customer service is um, like what Aya said earlier, make it seamless. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you, you go there, you, you, you see what your options are. It's easy to navigate items, yeah. size, price, right? And then easy payments and yes. then no issue with delivery. Mm. Yes. Right? That's true. Yes, that's yeah. true. That's true. And um, yeah, you don't, um, the only way... You, to do that is trial and error. Correct, mm-hmm. correct. So, um, again, ko lang nalaman since I, I yun nga, I is into e-commerce. It's it's very complex, no? It's very complex, very detailed, and uh, uh, uh hindi lang pala siya basta bastang oh gawin mo to, ito, 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 or something like that. Just plug yeah. it in and yeah, wala. Voila, okay na. It's not like that pala. So um with the uh with your team um they gave us a lot of ano pala a, a lot of um uh give us a lot of patience then na, na and suggestions to make mm-hmm. to make this this work no kasi True. we're still in the process pa rin naman on uh yeah. Uh, improving our website. Website. Yeah. yeah, and sometimes we really don't know what we want. It's just like we sabi nang namin we want it to be like this. Cause hindi naman conceptualize. So sinagash and Dean are helping us out. Oh, maybe this is a better way to do it or blah blah. blah. Yeah. Cause sila 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 ng ayon may experience. So it really helps us like have a clear vision of what we really want, especially in the um, interface of how it will look like, how right. friendly it is for the customer, or how easy it is for them to use it. Yeah. And alam naman natin, being entrepreneurs, uh, it's not 100% perfect from the get-go. Eh. Yeah. You yeah. have to go through yeah. the trial and error. Right? Mm-hmm. And yeah. I, I wanted to ask earlier, okay, you know, everybody asks, how are you guys doing the pandemic? What's the situation? I'm actually going to shift it a little bit because for me personally, um, I'm not waiting for the new normal. For me, oh. what we have right now is the normal. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Makes so I guess sense. the better question would be, how did you guys adjust to the new normal, to, 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 to the normal of present day vis-a-vis uh, business, either in... Um, printery or easy storage or private story? Yeah. Mm. Yes, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I'll start. For private story, I guess like 
the difficult part will be uh, what we're adjusting to, um, I guess, is the competition. There's just so much options out there and daming dumating na um, mga sleeper then because they saw the potential of it. Like, to be mm-hmm. honest, like, you know, during the first few months of the pandemic, it was like Christmas for us because people were staying at home and they're like, you know what, I need stuff for my house. I need stuff for my um, clothes in the house that will look nice when I Zoom with my friends, you know. So, yun yung concept. But then like, and dami lang lumabas. So, now we're trying to just be on top of things. Because yeah. we have na, we kind of, have established that we we were one of the pioneering since yeah. we started 2015, 2016. So five years now in our brand, and we have a pool of customers who are a big fan of our brand. And, and until now, they're still using the very first set that they bought from us. So, yes. um, so that's how we're we're adjusting so much with our ads because and damn and like iOS, the iOS updates are affecting us. So, yeah, yeah, the iOS updates. Um, we're in, you know, how um, uh, they ask you if you want to, if you if you want this, app, you want to be tracked. Up to track. The way you get that pop-ups, yeah. So we we did um, see the effect of those iOS updates on our ads and our sales. Yeah. Okay. Um, what else, Baba? I think also we just added a little bit of, of course, security and safety with our products. We sanitize it before we UV sanitize them before we pack them. Yeah. Um, we also start housing. We we started housing our employees, so yeah. our overhead did increase a little bit, but mm-hmm. it's for the safety of everyone. Yeah. We also do um this. This is for both my business and my parents' business. We did a service for them so that they don't commute. Yes. So we Very we uh, we would do um they would they would pick we would pick them up and bring them home. So. <laughs> That's how we adjusted to the new normal, really. Um, for printer, naman, I guess it will be the testing that we need to do before we install. Um, before we line, and of course, they have to wear the PPEs. The the installers just would kind of uncomfortable for the uh, very hot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And then I guess yeah, that's it for um for printer because we hardly really had installations during. When we started testing our new, and I guess people were kind of hesitant, and yeah. we, didn't, we didn't really have a profile yet or pool of clients at that time. So mm-hmm. we re- only had like several clients back in 2019 because we started around August or is it August? July, or June, July. July, June, July. And we started Canvas prints. Yeah. Lang, yeah. So yeah. that was easy print, I don't know. But the wallpaper around November, December. So wala talaga alot. And then the pandemic hit. So um, we started it technically, during the new normal. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's going to be like six months into 2020? Or yeah, parang, oh, November, December, January, March. Four months before oh, the yeah. pandemic started. Yeah. yeah. So I think we only had like one, two, or three long na installations and they're all like family friends. Pa. So yeah. it's not really like the real thing because like, you know, it'd be really nice because <laughs> we, we know them, the right? So yeah. new real yeah. clients came in um, during when after the the lockdown was starting to ease at around yeah. May uh, June June of last um, year yeah of 2020 yeah so I yeah. could technically say that we really started 2020 talaga kasi wala talaga halos 2019 yeah there's a lot yeah. of adjustments for sure yes. um how about you Pito? what did you do um during this time you know you just started printing with your sister boom pandemic happened. How were what were what was going through your mind uh, the first few months of the pandemic as a negotiante? Yeah, pre-pandemic, because um, uh, I also aside from easy storage, <clears throat> I also have this cafeteria in a school, nice. and also um, I'm I also work as a basketball coach. So, major hand, yeah. uh, my hands are full, talaga, uh, yeah. in terms of. Um, doing business and then pandemic hit nga uh nawala yung cafeteria and then nawala rin yung coaching in uh in basketball yeah. so there is a lot of adjustment um uh there is a lot of adjustment personally kasi instead of going to school or training with um the kids or, or checking uh, their the cafe i'm sitting here right now and my office mate is my wife <laughs> 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 and sometimes when I, I, I work uh, with in my uh, parents' place, they're my office mates. So 
ano eh, um, it's really unusual <laughs> for yeah. me. Kasi magkakasama kayo as a family. Um, yeah. yeah. We stay in one room and then we have different desks lang in the uh, office. Oo, uh, uh, uh. so we set up. <laughs> Kasi iba-iba kami yung ginagawa, ganun. <laughs> I, I think that's the biggest challenge uh, really is that happened last year when nawala yung delineation between family time and, and, and work. work time. Oh, yes. Right? So, you, you, yeah. Totoo have, yan. You, have you been a good co-worker as a husband, Tito? Of course! Of course! <laughs> I always say yes to my wife. <laughs> yeah. I don't have to, I don't have anything, I don't, uh, negative thing to say about it. No, <laughs> wait, don't wait, try. Wait, wait, wait. Did you do any corporate work? Um, no. corporate work. I think my corporate work na is the coaching. Because uh, uh, I became a PE teacher for uh, since 2010. Yeah. Um, so I enjoy working with with kids. Kasi. so okay. um, uh, yon, um, But technically, no corporate like working talaga on a desk. Yeah. No, we no, didn't no, go through that. It's, it's it's. I think it's still the same because I I need to do the lesson plan. Uh, that's and, true. Uh, that's true. The only reason I ask is I'm blissful mag yes sa boss. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> experienced corporate guy. Yeah, and then my wife then also is working from home then ngayon so. Currently, talaga, literally, uh, I'm on a lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Yeah. All right, Justine, I think we're going to take a break. Yeah, and after this, we'll learn more about the, the printery as well as we'll show some of their um, sample wallpapers on the, yeah. after the break. All right. Break <laughs> that. <laughs> all right, all right. Prosper Nation, welcome back. And before we start, let me thank you for the for all the customers that sent in their video. And just to start again, the digital happy hour. So we know Kito na and Aya na you're an MSME. So and we know probably you have friends and communities that are also MSME. So what are you hearing from them? And ano yung nakikita nyo na trends ngayon with the MSMEs? Oh um. I guess there are a lot of struggling small medium enterprises, but a lot are flourishing then and blossoming because they found a different market from the pandemic. Um, you know, they see the silver lining of what happened and created, you know, took advantage of the opportunity from there. Um, but yeah, we've been hearing a lot of struggles from businesses, Salaga. Because of um, the pandemic, they could really see that the economy is not that good. 
Yeah, but um, uh, some are closing down, but some are still fighting and innovating. So I think that's one trend that's happening now. They're trying to look for different products or different yeah. services they could create during the pandemic, it could be, I don't know, face shield or it could be, yeah. um, it could be a uh, delivery service. Diba? So, yeah. um, maraming namumunga from their current um, businesses na naisip nilang bago just to survive the pandemic. Like even Jollibee, di ba? Recently, they created yung do-it-your-own, like yung mga chicken oh, net. Oh, yung mga chicken na frozen na, di ba? Oh, oh yeah. So, that's one way of nila. innovating, di ba? Na oh. the people could do it at home. That's true, that's true. Na- na-excite ako. Kala ko pwede mag-do it your own sandwich sa Jollibee. <laughs> <laughs> chicken Joy, I think. Pwede na. Or meron oh, ba? Oh, pwede. Chicken. How about you, Kito? Ano naman na mga nakita mo mga trends and innovations with MSMEs today? Yeah, um in my case naman, yun, uh, I see a lot of um a lot of my friends struggling especially in the food business um wherein they have a lot of uh, branches, uh mm-hmm. food stalls, no. Um they tend to downsize, sadly to say, and to trench some of her uh, of their staff para so that they can sur- survive. Um but the good thing is um uh, they didn't they didn't stop no they didn't close yeah. down but rather they also improved like what we did for printry they improved on their uh website their e-commerce website so that's mm-hmm. their parang that's our, that's their mm-hmm. strategy uh and um it's slowly slowly doing well no um with some of my friends uh um uh, in the business, uh, they downsize, pero they they like how will I say it? Kumbaga sa basketball nag side step parang yun nag lateral step para so that they can uh, move uh, and <laughs> so so that they can uh, move and um, survive in this pandemic. Yeah. So um, we help MSMEs through um, well, first of all, promoting them, no and um instead of buying from for example uh, other restaurants we buy yeah. to them na from each other so friends yeah so, so yes. friends namin so we don't ask na lang for a discount kasi syempre di ba definitely yes. so so yeah. yun that's that's a simple way to to help our friends and some sm kilala namin I so you guys actually tackled uh, on two key points that uh, felt was very prominent during the past year no um number one uh yung yung the past year created a lot of new entrepreneurs mm. because uh syempre, um for the people who were lucky enough to still have jobs sometimes they they get uh, furlough ba? Yung tamang word? Na instead of working five days a week, they work four mm-hmm. days a week. Yes. Yeah. So that uh-huh. The company can still retain them, but yeah. the company can still survive, right? Yeah. Or, yeah. yeah, or, you know, or some some companies um, had to take, uh, to, to put in pay cuts, right? So, yes. syempre, yung side hustle, naging real hustle. Yes, yeah. yes, true, true, true. And, and, and sumabog din yung creativity. And I've never seen so many new products pop in. Like, yeah. uh, Ubi Pandesal. And food. And food, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, Ubi Pandesal. Oh my gosh. Sushi <laughs> Grabe sushi yeah. bake. Grabe, di ba? Yeah. But on the other hand, to Kito's point, maraming F- F&B is one of the hardest hit industries. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, uh, country. But saying that, it's fortunate that uh, a lot of them are surviving. Yes. Kailangan nang mag-adjust, adjust. Mm-hmm. Pero parang nak- napansin ko lang din na parang nag, uh, nag level um, nag, ano, nag level up yung playing field ng mga small rest- yes. restaurants and may mga yeah. big restaurants. Para nag, yeah. nag yes. level yung playing field nila. Kasi Siyempre, with uh, the the big restaurants out there, 
um, with the with the leasing ano nila ang laki ng cash of it nila eh oh ang okay. laki ng opex nila eh so they tend to talaga they have no choice but to um, scale down correct so para nakita ko na yung competition ng uh, big uh, restaurants and the small ones uh, uprising restaurants para nag nag mm. uh, even up yung playing field nila and which is good which is It's good kasi parang so, now now parang Yeah, we, now we can say and see kung ano yung mga okay din talaga na... Available. Uh-oh. Yeah. Available. Na mas masarap pa minsan. Exactly. Like, diba? Yeah. And as you can see, for example, with um, platforms like Grab. Yeah, yeah. Grab yeah. Food. Food Lagi Panda. Food Panda. Uh-huh. I mean, nag, because of that, talaga nag-event, nag-event talaga yung playing field ng restaurant. Yeah, yeah. yeah and before, you could only find grab food yung mga big restaurants. Ngayon, you could really see yung mga maliliit talaga are there na rin, di ba? Just okay. really nice. And ano, um, yeah, especially when, because everybody had to go digital, no wala ngayon yung physical limitation of a store. Yeah. 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 Your, your, your customers, uh, instead of being in the five kilometer radius, becomes the entire city. Uh-oh. Yeah. yeah. Dumak- lumaki yung market mo. Yung potential. Oh. Mm-hmm. Except kung ice cream yung binibenta mo. <laughs> <laughs> Pero napansin ko rin um, when it comes to MSMEs, parang the sense of community also became stronger. Kasi during the quarantine, and dami rin yung mga digital communities na nag- up yes. communities and then your Facebook groups yeah. yeah WhatsApp groups na talagang meron, Viber groups di ba? And yeah dance. readily available din na communities na pwede mo i-access and also you're helping each other as MSMEs kasi kayo kayo na lang din by yeah. each other tama oh. Oh, like my, my uncle who lived in a village they have their own Viber group Mm. Ganun. And my friend who lived in a, in a condo, condo, may Viber group din sila. Tapos si-check lang nila kung ano yung mga niluto ng mga kapit-bahay nila for the day. Yun yung ulam nila. They don't need to order actually elsewhere, di ba? So, to that point, I'd like to give a shout out to my mom who's, uh, who's been very helpful to her Viber group because she keeps ordering food. Oh. <laughs> Number one customer. Thank you. <laughs> Influencer pala. <laughs> Oh, Justine, but no, you want uh, let's let's uh, tackle and focus on the printery and uh, yeah. the the business itself. Yes. So before we get to their products, um, can you tell us like um even for a short sentence lang kung what's the future that you see for the printery? Future. Yeah. Future. For me, future is very bright for printery because um uh. Because of our website, na we want to develop and improve. Uh, that's our number one priority, yung customer journey. To smoothen up and add, add more designs, add more uh, concept uh, um, in our website. Because our website, I believe that our website is our like, heart and soul of the business din talaga. Because that's the image eh. The, we build the website talaga now what we really want it will anyway it will it will prosper so that's where prosperna will help us yeah, prosper with yeah. Prosperna. so exactly so like we we want to develop this website because as you said off road ba na parang hindi lang in the five kilometer radius so hindi lang metro manila pwede na buong philippines maybe even other countries they could just upload the print they want and we could send them off from the Philippines, lo- printed by the Filipinos, not just for the Filipinos, but all over the world. And you want to maintain a good quality um, product that when they think that it's coming from the Philippines, that's a good product. I mean, like, we want to, in the future, we want to sleep with foreigners. Yeah. Na, yeah. Filipino, okay, yan, approved. Yan, ganun. So, Uh, we also want to cater to or collaborate with other artists um, in yeah. the Philippines or abroad so that they could we could create collections with them. So like maybe or we could create patterns. Yeah. yeah, we could licensing. So we could create patterns for them and it will be not just a print on your wall but an artwork. Diba? So, so there, there are so many possibilities and of course different products. We could maybe in the future do weird tiles and um curtains and um bed the hard the 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 
backboard of the bed so you could match it with your wallpaper element. So, headboard. ang dami talaga. Headboard there. Headboard of the bed. So, ang daming possibilities for printery. You could do 3D na rin. So, medyo textured yung mga, yung mga nice. shapes and mga designs. So, ang dami pang pwedeng gawin. Pero we really want to, to make the website seamless so that we can insert the products konti-konti and hindi ma-overwhelm yung audience namin. Correct, correct. Justine, you had a question? Mm, uh, yun na for now. So, we'll have our Kito and Aya talk about the swatch that I got from Printery. They do have many designs. I will also post the website here. And um, Kito and Aya, can you walk us through you, kunyari, how do you come up with this design? Yeah, how do you come up with your, know, with your designs? Yeah. Okay, okay, so, um, and so like for that. me, ako yung sa designs and the uh, marketing side of the business. Si Kito more in the operation. So I'll, mm. I'll talk about this one. I'm a graphic designer also. I learned from my dad and experience. Bata pa ako, nag-adobe na ako Photoshop. Kasi gusto ko si Bubbles and si Blossom magkatabi. <laughs> I love the Powerpuff Girls, but... <laughs> so, um, from, let's say, let's talk about that whale print. Um, so, what we do is we get different elements from uh, vectorized elements all over the internet. Sometimes we draw it and then we change the color. Sometimes we change then the textures. Um, I myself, I draw also. So, sometimes I draw it thin. So, let's say that print. What we do is we get, put the whale and then put clouds. We also put birds around it. So, kami nagko-conceptualize kung anong mapupunta dun sa wallpaper. And then we create a pattern out of it. Out of the elements that we saw. Um, that one is mainly for kids. Kasi yung mga mommies, they like, um, they like the theme of whales. Mostly for the kids. And then the other print that you have there, Justin, um, is more on floral, tropical. tropical. So that's also one thing that every client wants. We want tropical. So we need to uh, come up with a collection of tropical. Because sometimes our client, they don't really know what they want. Mm. But sometimes there are clients that they really know what they want. As in to the color, to the stroke. And so... Um, yeah. If your clients sometimes so they're so overwhelmed with everything they see online and inspiration, so we come up with different designs like that. So for mm. that, what we do is also like that we create elements and then we put them up together and create a pattern that will look nice. We choose also the color, we choose also the textures. So I work with our graphics team as well and my dad. So it's kind of like a teamwork effort. And then I approve it once I have I see the print. Means that I scale it bigger. Means that I make the flowers smaller so that we don't have the overwhelming eyes. We add spacing, and on. So yeah, that's how we really mm. create our own design. Yeah, like, um, I think one of your best value propositions. Uh, sorry, Justina, for print mm. that it, um, I want to use the word flexible, but I think the more appropriate word is customization. Customization, oh. yes. Right? I think that's yes. one of the best value propositions uh, that you guys have. Yeah. Exactly. And sometimes we work hand in hand with our clients, as in Zoom call, just to show them that if they want the wheel smaller, if they want it, if they want it, they don't water, they yeah. delete it for all yeah. the wheels. We can do it. So, it um, depends on what they want the client. And ma-approve. once they na approve, nila, we have swatch printed like that big, just in, so that's like a 12 by 12. Mm -hmm. That's an actual... Um, actual size of how it will look like on your wall. So, you, so most of our clients, they paste it on their wall and look at it oh. from afar. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah. gusto ko mas maliit pa yung whale. Mga ganon. So, gagawin namin yan. Papalitin namin and then we'll send them also a swatch. So, that's okay. one thing na the customers really appreciate kasi it is a wallpaper. It's gonna last you. Our wallpapers, they will last you years. Um, our, <laughs> sorry? They're gonna be staring at that the whole time. <laughs> the whole time, exactly. And you have to make sure it's something that you really want. Exactly. So it's not like a half-hearted thing that it's just choice. It's not just a choice. It's not just a choice. You love it, right? So, so you work um, from home, na, so like you'll be oh, oh. a long time. Yeah, and yeah. you, you get to see your friends will see it, your family will see it. You know, it's something to feature. It's a featured mm -hmm. thing on your wall, on your home, right? Yeah. So that's one thing also that we want to showcase for our printery. We're, our ink is eco-friendly. So, especially for the kids, because they smell it, right? Um, um, our ink, it has a, a Green Guard approved ink yung mong gagawin na gamit namin. Of course, it's paper, so it's also eco-friendly and recyclable. So, um, that's what we promote 
eco-friendly wallpaper and ink. Okay, great. Um, question lang po. Um, do you also parang ganito siya mag appear correct? What if yes, it, uh-uh. isang image lang talaga na malaki on their wall? Pwede. Uh-uh. So, uh, what we do is yung, dito sa pinaka-corner, as you can see, di ba? Yan yung full print sa wall mo. So, if your wall is makitid, then makitid din yung makikita mo doon. Mm-hmm. So, that's our general lang 9 feet, 9 feet by 12 feet. Yan yung general lang namin na ginagamit. So, if it's mm-hmm. like an image of, let's say, uh, a big mural, then you will see a crop proof which is like one part of that mural. So, um, para makita mo, you can stick it and then look at it from afar and, okay, that's a good size that I want for for my elements of, on my wall. Mm-hmm. Awesome. How about, ano, ikaw, Kito, uh, operations? Yeah. Uh, when it comes to operations, naman, uh, Madugo. <laughs> once, na, once na the client approves the swatches in the design, uh, that's where... I'll come in and uh, normally we schedule um, um, uh, installation to our clients. When it comes to installation, it takes, it depends on the size of the wall, no? Pero it takes half a day, siguro, for you to install it. And all the the materials that we use when it comes to um, the paste that we're going to use for the wallpaper, um, they're all eco-friendly and it's odorless and it's very safe um, for kids and people staying at home. So how long does it take once a client places their order to the installation? Okay. Depends on the client. <laughs> Just kidding. We all have an answer. Yeah, there's, well, there is. We do have like a processing time, but sometimes the clients <laughs> would say, I need it by next week. We have to do that, diba? Siyempre, diba? Um, Let's say we had a, an example would be a client who who contacted us on Instagram on a Thursday and then wanted to do an ocular the next day, so we went and then wanted the designs by Monday, so we had to send designs during the weekend for approval, installation yeah. by Wednesday. So, minsan ganun siya kabilis. So, minsan naman matagal kasi matagal yung approval. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we can do as quick sometimes pag gusto nila may certain design na sila na, especially when they saw it on the website na. Yeah. And then, approved na agad. Like, may clients kasi na ganun eh. Means yeah. the next day or two days after we install na. Yeah. And have you personally installed the wallpaper? Personally? Oh, yes. Nice, <laughs> Kito nice. did. <laughs> yeah, I remember like the next two one time si Sir Kito and nasa eh. He, he has into installation uh, I, some, I, I, I sometimes talaga go to the installations even though it's kind of scary diba? and all that but um, we I try to make sure that first of all kailangan fully vaccinated and all that and um, uh, yun, I try to make sure antigen that, we uh, have we, ha- we, we show a proof na negative antigen everyone including yeah. Tito and we we want to sure lang din naman na um, their wallpapers are being taken care of. So yeah, yeah. sometimes, kasi when when I'm there, they're more, alam mo yun, stress free. But iba rin si Kiguro kasi pag um, the uh, the owner. Oh, yes, I can understand that. Yeah, most comfortable sila and all of that. So yun, I go there and yun. Sometimes I I uh, take videos of it. Nice. He vlogs it, bro. You should see our YouTube. He vlogs yes, it. Yeah, yeah. I will, I will. You can promote okay, your uh, YouTube, Kito and oh. Maya. Actually, that's oh, another go to our YouTube thing. page. The Printery. <laughs> there you go. We post, I, I, we post a lot of ano, um, um, before and after. So the process, mm-hmm. ganon. That's actually very good because, uh, again, no, digitization is not just about creating your website, but knowing how to promote it. And the best way yeah. to promote it right now is Understanding how YouTube works, Instagram, yeah. Facebook, TikTok, TikTok, even. Mm. Yeah. And so, uh, then, uh, there, there are. Well done. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's, and, but here's the thing for, for, for entrepreneurs, starting entrepreneurs or small, medium entrepreneurs, we don't have to pay big money for advertising agencies oh, 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 oh. To, to do campaigns. Yeah. Better thing, do it your, on your own, trial and error, until you find the right match, and then we can mm-hmm. download apps already that can help us edit. Mm-hmm. That's true, yeah. We're our own ad agency na. 
Yeah. That's true. Pero kami, I think in our end pro kami, we're just, we have our own agency na rin oh, who's good. helping us out. Kasi yeah. we, from what I've learned as an e-commerce din, ako, um, we, I wanted to focus more on developing the products yes. and focusing on the customer service. Absolutely. Kasi if I folk doing, you know, doing Facebook ads is so hard. Yeah, it's, a, it's so it's hard. It's another, you know, another, it's 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 interest tanggalin mo may Drastic. effect agad sa ad. Yes. Sobrang yes. drastic. So, um, I tried to do it by myself but I, I started to feel like I was just flushing out money. Like, okay. you know, Facebook would tell us now you have to wait for your ads to be good but no, and like you really need experts talaga to yeah. who have years of experience or That's people really who knows uh, people who know how the the changes happen and how it affects your ads. So we we didn't want to waste any money, but we started investing in on a uh, marketing agency. That, that's a good point, so especially you know uh, you made up a good point. Na, and I personally believe this since college. Uh, just focus on your strengths. Outsource everything. Else. Focus on your strengths. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Maximize it. Because it's strength <laughs> yeah. And especially as your business well, grows, you want to focus on what's more important, which is yeah. the operations, the sales, right? Mm-hmm. The yeah. As long as they perform, na man, I mean. Yeah. All right. So you know, um, can you guys give us like five tips that you can give to our audience? Uh, we can get 2.5 each from everybody or 5 and 5. <laughs> <laughs> or just, you know, basic three tips. There you go. For, for, for um, Tito tips. and Saya. Three uh, tips for what in general? In three business? tips on, for our listeners on how to um, move forward uh, and scale mm-hmm. your business, especially in this normal situation that we are in right now. Okay. Ako first tip ko, um, believe in your brand at saka kapalan mo na yung mukha mo. Like, all out. Kung, all out ka talaga dun sa brand mo. Like, really showcase it to your friends, your family. Kasi sa kanila talaga magsa-start yung word of mouth. So, you really, kapalan mo yung mukha mo to reach out to them and ask them to like your page. To um, follow us on Instagram. Yung mga ganun. Kasi sila talaga yung magiging backbone mo when you start a small business to grow it into a medium business, to grow it to a larger business. So, um, kapalim niyo mukha mo to message them. Another one would be once you're in that growth position, you know, like, invest on e-commerce. Invest on a good website because it will give your brand credibility. It will give your brand that established identity that you are a good brand. You're uh, um, something that people could rely on. Yeah. So those are my two tips. All right. Thank you for that, Aya. What about you, Pito? Uh, and feel free me. to use basketball analogies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. For me, naman, ano, in terms of ano, um, um, topping off lang dun sa sinabi ni Aya about the brand, you need to build your brand also by uh knowing your uh like your your competitors no in the market no so what are they good at or any strengths and weaknesses nila so um yun so you need to analyze and strategize yes. <laughs> basketball you need to strategize yung um yung competition din sa market so that you know mm-hmm. and uh kung saan yung brand identity mo Alright, so that's that's for me number one sa akin yon. And then the other one is to set up your supply supply chain management in terms of operation. So you need to know you need to source out um, your supplies. Uh, you need to uh, know and determine that this um, um, uh, materials are good for your brand and good for for the business. And at the same time, um, yung number one um, uh, lesson ko rin talaga is to know your PNL. Oh yes, know your financials. So because yeah. if um, Hindi mo alam yon, and you're really blind about it. Uh, 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> I told you. Yeah. Masha short profit and loss. Yeah. 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 So, you know that, that, that accounting axiom number one, cash is king. Yeah. But cash, cash is king. Low is queen. Yes. <laughs> yes, yeah. that's true. And also, like, I think to add something, no, patience then. Like, um, you need to be patient with your brand then. Sometimes, wala, pero sometimes meron. Um, you don't, you shouldn't feel bad about it. Kasi talagang, we don't really know the trend that's happening right now with the pandemic. Um, at first, kami, siguro kami sa private story for three years, four years, we know the trends. Like, kailan kami magsisale, kailan kami mag, um, or kailan yung bagong products, kailan lalabas. But with the pandemic, nawala lahat, fluctuated lahat yung mga, yung mga trends na nangyayari. So, um, you really have to be patient with your brand and um, just do your best when you're creating products, when you're doing a service. Like, it's, uh, make sure na lahat ng customers na makakausap mo, you have that certain patients kasi minsan some customers hindi talaga nila alam yung gusto nila yeah. or sometimes they're not that nice pero you really have to be patient with them and so yeah patience also patience talaga yeah. <laughs> I'm, really. I'm very very excited for you guys Kito um, and Aya in fact um, I, 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 I should introduce you to a friend of mine uh, who does uh, fit outs and I think it might be a good fit and oh, okay. as uh, you know, um, construction has been booming. Oh yeah, in the country. Right? Oh, oh. Uh, it'll be my pleasure to introduce you to my buddy. Oh sure, so, sure. Mm-hmm. We'd love that. Love, we'd you. love that. We'd love to meet them. Okay. All right, oh. um, Justine. Yeah. Um. Actually, before we end, we'll have three more three questions from our audience. To be answered by Kito and Aya. So the first question would be: Any tips for home design, home office design? What would make a conducive home office? Conducive. Um. Okay. So for design, I think conducive muna as a home office. Ako kasi I really separate myself from the bedroom and office. Mas maigi na for me na yung office ko na sa living room than inside the bedroom. Kasi ngayon nga it's really hard to separate. Um, your time of rest and time of work. Kasi nga, wala tayong concept of going out. Ganon. And so, for me, make sure that your office or your office space is not in your bedroom. Mm. Yan. And then, for the design, um, more on minimalist para mas madaling linisin. Ganon. And then, for, for your wallpaper, um, uh, I think, like, to put a little bit of light in your in your um, in your room, siguro more on tropical or like geometric styles that are very uso ngayon. Um, also line art that are quite um interesting. Other our customers really like. Um, and then color palette would be depending on your taste. So it could be neutrals. Some people naman they like vibrant, so it could be mustard yellow. Yung yung medyo um hindi masakit sa mata, especially when you're you know, on a Zoom call. It's something na attractive pa rin, um, neutral na hindi, yeah, neutral colors. Uh. Mm, okay. I'm also taking notes pa sa akin. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Caring is caring. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. And then, um, the second question, question two. what are the benefits of using wallpaper versus using paint? Okay. Alright. Sige. So, um, versus paint, um, the problem with paint kasi is it takes time to cure. So, for example, like paint ka, um, it takes several days for it to dry up and hindi mo magamit yung space mo right away. So, normally, those are um, um, uh, one of the disadvantages of using paint. Um, another one is the smell. Mm-hmm. No, Sometimes, uh, if... For example, gusto gusto man na mag-move in. Smelly yung paint eh. Smelly talaga yung paint. Mm-hmm. And at the same time, kung, kung if you're gonna count the hours, the days, and the labor, um, it will be more cost-effective, cost-effective. To, to use wallpaper instead um, um using paint. Because with mm-hmm. wallpaper, um, you just install it half a day. And um, odorless na siya, wala na siyang problem, all that. Unlike uh, with paint, you're mm-hmm. gonna hire a pintor who will paint 
for I don't know how many days yeah. will you know, yeah. he will he will paint it. He will use primer first before the 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 paint itself and all that. Yeah. And um, sometimes it's difficult to match the color that you like in paint, no? Yeah. Um, the color palette that you that you really want. And yun. Yeah, tsaka when it dries up, di ba, sometimes iba yung color dun sa uh, nakita mo. Kasi some people, they just open the tub, di ba, when they see the color. Oh, and then Tapos pag nalagay mo na, na, iba na, yeah. di ba? Mm-hmm. So, it, so yung, it's yung may risk. nangyayari na parang natatanggal yung paint. Like chip yeah. and then, yeah. oo. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Pag so, kinukot ko, it's not a repair. Yeah, so depende rin sa, sa pintor, sa painter, mm-hmm. um, yeah. uh-huh. kung, kung magaling siya or hindi. So sometimes the price varies din on, on his mm-hmm. labor charge. So, mm-hmm. yun. Um, very, Saka pa mag-repair very ka, mahirap mahanapin yung kulay minsan, Actual paint, diba? Yeah. Lalo na pag nag-mix. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's kind of, um, medyo, mas, ano siya, mas, uh, um, complex siya in a sense. Because, you, you, you don't understand how many shades of beige there are. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and like with wallpapers, we we'll just give you um, the uh, clients just give us the shade that they want, give the swatches once they approve, install, then voila. You don't need I know you don't need a, a zoom uh, background anymore. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the that's the goal. Uh oh. So nice. yeah. Actually, pwede lang ako magpa-wallpaper dito, pwede. Kaya lang, rental lang siya. <laughs> <laughs> o magpagawa ko okay. lang ng spare na, 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 na wallpaper. Oh, yeah. Pwede, gawa natin low pro, paulit-ulit. Oh, well, Dennis, I will, will love to help you with that. Yeah. Oh. No, for my, for my house. <laughs> ah! <laughs> house lang niya. Uh. Um, so, the last question would be, what's the most interesting design you've customized? Um, I think for me, on top of my head, and dami na rin namin kasi na-design na clients, no? Pero the one with L.A. Tenorio, do you happen to know L.A. Tenorio? Uh, yung he's a basketball player. Yung basketball player. Ateneo. <laughs> Ateneo. <laughs> the best point guard ever. Nako. Nako, Justine. Sorry, Lasalista. Yeah. 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 Alas, hindi na ka ba? Oh. Um, so, ano si, yun, si, L.A. Tenorio, yung uh, hey, nag-renovate sila ng house nila. So, the boys, um, gusto nila science instruments. That's yung mga right. beaker, yung mga... Yeah, so, ang cute, super. It's it's in our vlog. You guys could watch it on our vlog, the printery. We featured that. So, um, ang gusto ni Mrs. Tenorio, si Cheska, um, eh, iba-iba yung, yung itsura ng mga elements. So, like, yung iba nakatilt, yung iba mas malaki, yung iba um ibang kulay ganun. So, nung una ito siya sa black and white na naku- na elements na bin- pinakita ko. But then later on she was like, "Ah, I want colors." Kasi yung start niya is airplanes nung una with different yeah. shades of um terracotta, uh, mustard yellow, blue, ganun. So, what we did is we got those color palettes and we placed it dun sa science experiment um a uh, wall ng boys and it turned out really nice it's just so wow. nice and the boys were so happy miss cheska was also so happy we did the, the um uh, the design on zoom very particular thing to see miss cheska so it was really nice to work with her hand in hand um so whatever super hands on so like when she wants it smaller mapapaliit ko talaga in front of her. So, she can say, yan, 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 pwede na yan, pwede. Ganon. So, <laughs> so, yun yung pinaka-interesting kasi ang cute. It turned out, dapat black and white lang at first, but it turned out so colorful. And yun yung interest, ter- interest ng mga kids niya. And you could never find a wallpaper like that in yeah. the market. Yeah. It's yeah. something that Miss Chesca really, talaga. yeah, made for the boys. So, yun. I think that's the most interesting one. You could watch it on our YouTube. But, <laughs> oh, ano, Go to their YouTube so you can view more videos like that. Yeah. Yes. Let's let's make sure we post the YouTube link here in our mm. show. Yeah. That would be nice. Nice. I've actually seen that wallpaper to my friends. Uh, my, my, we have a common friend and I uh, oh. uh, saw some pictures. So yeah, it's a fantastic job. Oh. Right nice, no? It's matching yeah. in their bed. So yeah. it's cute. It's really cute. When I was a kid, I put a poster hit up the head of power. 
Go, <laughs> <laughs> poster artista. Masisira daw yung wallpaper ni Mami. <laughs> okay. Very <Very> customized. <laughs> yeah. So for the last part, uh, this is just to end things in a higher note with the Prosper Nation. We, um, Fro will also be asking you, pero this is only, you can say only one word or one sentence. It's called fast talk and we'll be asking three questions from all of you. Okay. The question would be, what is your favorite quote or saying? So, Kito, maybe you can start. Quote. One word lang, one, or no, fast talk, fast talk. Phrase, um, ganon. N- nothing, is Im- nothing is impossible. Mm, like what, K- uh, what KG said in Boston Celtics. <laughs> <laughs> Basketball. <laughs> That's also one of my favorite phrases. Uh, impossible is nothing and just do it. Uh, <laughs> and then you, also, uh, yeah. yung quote ni, ano, ni Kobe be legendary. It's a, uh, it's yeah. a oh, yeah. very legendary. Legendary. Yeah. legendary. Ako naman yung Justin, I live by Amor Fati. So it's also in my, the printery planner. The printing planner. Oh, wow. Cool. Oh, yeah. So We're doing that. It's Amor Fati. Um, it means love of faith. Parang, love of one's faith. Now, whatever happens to you, it was really necessary to get to where you're supposed to be. So it may be good. It may be bad. Pero, so you really have to just accept whatever happens to you and go through it. Um, yeah, that's right. good. Deep right. <laughs> Once you can travel, first country that you will visit. Just a confirm. What would you want? Oh, Japan. Um, yeah, Japan. Japan. Oh, oh. Nice. Um, yeah, good choice. Um, ako, I think <laughs> Philippines. I'm currently in Australia, so I think I want to go to Philippines. But if ever not Philippines, like my other home, it will be England. Because um, Alex's family is there. And nice. he's been away from his family since September, you know, 2019. That was the last time we saw his family. So we really want to see the whole family again. Of course, of course. Justine? And the last one is, one mobile app you cannot live without. <laughs> I know my answer. Um... One mobile app, I think for me, it would be Instagram. Instagram. I'm an Instagram girl. For me, YouTube. I'm <laughs> YouTube. 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 I'm <laughs> 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 Netflix. <laughs> oh, Netflix. I'm <laughs> 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 YouTube. YouTube kasi, what I do now, like, when I take breaks, I just go to the then I YouTube, like, stuff I need to research on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 True, true. Yeah. How to repair this, how to repair that. Exactly. <laughs> Right? Or watch like comedy stuff just to relax. That's oh. true. Yeah. That's true. All right. Well, guys, thank you so much for being part of our digital happy hour. Prosper Nation, sana po na-enjoy niyo itong episode namin and hopefully you were able to gain insights from our guests, Kito and Aya. Justine? Yeah. Um, okay. But don't worry, we'll be back next week, Prosper Nation, for more digital trends, tech news, and digital marketing tips. So thank you, Aya, Kito, and Fro. And we'll be back next week. Bye, Prosper Nation. Bye. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Keep safe, everyone. Stay safe.